Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So this is going to be a little quickie. Uh, it's just going to be an alternate ending to the Victoria Lace necklace. So Vicki posted something very similar to this on Facebook, but she didn't have the stone, so she just did it all the way around, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it looks great. Um, and then Suzanne asked me if I would show how to do the add these drops on rather than using this. So I aim to please, so of course I will do that. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put a link up there and in the description box below the video to this, to the Victoria Lace necklace. Uh, and you'll just do the necklace without this. So the first part of the video shows how to do the bezel, and then the rest of the video shows how to do the rest of the necklace. So you'll just leave the, be the bezel off and you'll continue with your units here. Um, and that's what I've done in this one. I made this one a little bit bigger. And the rest of it is pretty much the same. I also wanted to show you that if you want, I forgot to do this during the video, if you wanted to add a drop to the bottom of it, I think that's kind of pretty too. All right, so I'm going to clear the decks, come on back, and we'll just put these little briolettes on the bottom. All right, see you in a few. Oh, okay, a couple things. On this one, I have a little Miyuki 3.4 millimeter drop fringe bead that I put at the bottom. I didn't put it on this one, but you can. It's certainly up to you. I mean, just, you know, get creative and do whatever you like. I did 24 units on this necklace. This is going to be a real collar. It's going to pretty much, you know, it's going to be pretty large. You can do more or less, whatever you like. So thread a needle with enough thread. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry I'm coughing. I, this stupid pneumonia. It's, it's so, it's all, I'm almost back to normal, but I still cough. All right, so we've threaded a needle with enough thread to, to go around. So through the 15 -0 and the 3, pick up a drop or a briolette. This is a 14 millimeter, and it's a, an aventurine stone. And just sew through the next 3 millimeter. I'm not putting any seed beads on, nothing. I'm just sewing right through the next one. Okay, so that's all you're going to do. And you're just going to do that until you get, you know, go all the way around to the other side. And then you're just going to sew your threads in. So go around, and you can sew them anywhere where it's um, convenient for you to sew them in. And really, that's it. Now, I think Vicki put her drops right here. So I'm sure either way works. You know, she, instead of all four of these, she did one here, like, like I put the, the little drop there. Um, I put them in between. It's certainly up to you, whichever one you like, um, whatever works best for you. You can also do a little pearl here. Anything, any size bead that you like. A dagger. I did one with, I put three daggers right here. <laughs> So really, anything you like will work for this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to come back and, and, you know, and look at them because you saw it in the beginning. I just wanted to get the alternate, alternate ending up for, for you, for those of you who wanted to do it. All right, so take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.